Welcome everybody to the Phoenix and Glitchy Talk Shit Show. <laughs> so today, we are actually going to divert a little bit from our normal topical segments. Mm. Um, and today's episode is going to be a episode directed at the straight guys and lesbians that may or may not be watching these videos. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that may so, find us boring, offensive, whatever. Yeah. So, um, we're if going to... this category. Sorry. We're, we're, we're going to run into this um, with a segment that I have just decided to call Dear Straight Guys and Lesbians. <laughs> so, um, Dear Straight Guys and Lesbians, we're sorry in advance. We're probably most boring our, as fuck. Most of our jokes are dick-related. <laughs> um, most of our humor has to do with guys and dicks. Um, penis, penis, and more penis. Yeah. What else could so, we say? So, lesbians, we really don't have much for you. Straight guys, you've already got one. Unless you so want to talk about really nice titties. Because I occasionally do that. Oh, and look, Litchie's fucking with her hair again. Um, so but yeah, so... <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of how it is. And... We're not trying I'll to be, be uninclusive or anything like that, but we're just talking about what we prefer. So, I mean, hey. Yeah, and honestly... There will be something for everyone, eventually. Maybe. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the gaming segments that we're going to start doing would probably interest some of you. Um, but, for the most part, honestly, I don't have much in common with most lesbians. Just Neither to do be, I. Just kind of... I really haven't had anything in common with lesbians since they basically, since I met a few that told me that I was dumb for liking guys. And when I was considering bisexuality and, you know, experimenting, told me that I just needed to pick a fucking side already. So, you know. Well, that, and that's a whole other story. Cause that's a, yeah, that's like a whole other video. People... People are assholes towards bisexual people. I identified as bisexual for a while until I realized that women are just not for me. Mm. Um, and I realized the same thing, because I'm sorry, but <laughs> carpet burn from pussy, you can't really not, you can't really explain that away. <laughs> and I should probably preface this by saying, or this whole segment by saying, I have lesbian friends. I have straight guys. Not very many, but I'm friends with some straight guys. Okay, and um, I'm gonna so, I'm gonna say right here, I don't have any lesbian friends that I know of that are lesbians, other than I don't even know honestly because it's not something I talk about really, and I just generally don't have female friends. I don't have women friends because bitches play so many games. See, and I'm actually sort of the opposite of glitchy. All of my friends, well. 95% of my friends are female. Like me! Because I don't have much, much in common with other guys my age. Right. Uh, and this has been this way <laughs> for years. When guys that I went to school with were getting into, you know, getting interested in girls, I was looking at them going, I'm kind of after you, not them. Yeah. And, you know, when they were off doing sports stuff, I was gaming. And Yeah, like, see, when all these kids around me, you know, all the kids around me in my, in my hometown started, honestly, started underage drinking and going to parties and going to all ages clubs and shit like that, I was sitting at home reading a damn book or watching anime. Well, and see, that was, that's another thing. My and parents singing terribly. <laughs> my parents from a young age, like, well, not a, not a young age. That makes it come off wrong. Um, from about 15 or so, about the time that kids normally start drinking, my parents <sighs> allowed me to have a drink supervised by them. There was multiple reasons I was like this. 18 or 19. Before. There were multiple reasons. Go ahead, sorry. There were multiple reasons for this. One, we have alcoholism in our family, so 
They were teaching me moderation by... And keeping an eye on my own intake at, one, at the same time. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, they were removing the taboo from it. Which... Removing the temptation of going against the rule. Right, which if you know a teenager ever, <laughs> if you... Well, hell, if you've been one, obviously. When you were you, one, if you aren't already, you know exactly what the fuck we're talking about. You know that the first thing you want to do is whatever your parents are saying don't do. Mm. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's just how it is. <laughs> so, my parents kind of cut that off of the pass just immediately. My parents, that I was one of those weird kids that I did what my parents said because I thought they were going to kill me otherwise. We made you. We'll just make another one. <laughs> Pretty fucking much. Yeah. No, seriously though, they they did a lot to me to like make me fear them when I was younger. But then when I started hitting, you know, sixteen, seventeen, and and so I realized legally they can't actually kill me. But I still didn't go out and drink because I literally still had that stigma that if my if I do this, my parents are gonna kill me. Yeah. Well, and, and by that point, you started to understand, like, consequences of actions. And... Yeah, and plus, I mean, half the fucking females in my school got knocked up. And there was kids getting killed by drunk driving and, you know, all this other stupid shit. And I'm sitting here like, I'm going to be over here reading a really good book and watching anime and maybe some porn. Yeah, and see... Porn was, another... porn was also something I didn't really do. Or watch, you know, when I was younger because I was constantly afraid of my parents. I was terrified that my parents were going to flip out on me for watching Rocky Horror Picture Show. Because I didn't know that they were they, they liked it because I knew my grandma was, like, super anti-anything naughty. So, like, there was just serious fucking drama in my life. So... <laughs> I could go on in that whole fucking porn situation today. Um, but back to my original point. I my dad's still into, don't my have... My dad's in, into what's... Cla it literally is called midget porn. I didn't call it that. I'm, I'm not, I don't approve of that title. But my dad is into that and granny porn. That's the reason why dating sites scare me. Because right. being a little person myself, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna get that one guy mm -hmm. that fucking wants to get his rocks off because I'm small. And that's fucking scary, and it's fucking gross, and it bothers me. Fuck um, that. Now, back to my original thought before <laughs> I go on my soapbox about that. Um, <laughs> so, for, for the reason of my parents basically getting the stigma out of alcohol altogether... I still don't have a lot in common with people my age. I just mm. don't. Especially men. Um, because, I don't know. It's something, it's really something weird. I, the same things that I'm into, there's just not a lot of men, at least in this area, that they're into. You know, a lot of them are yeah. into, you know, um, fuck. I went to school and with, hog time? Which, <laughs> I, I, went, I went to school with a lot of guys like that that were in ag, and they did, you know, they raised animals and, you know, that kind of stuff. Agriculture? And, yeah, agriculture. Okay. Um, I've never and, actually and heard it called ag. That, that's, I don't know, it's just one of those things. It must be a, a regional area. No, thing. they have an agricultural thing here in, like, specialty classes, uh, especially, um, like, career centers and whatnot. Oh, see, no, it's, it's an actual class, like, in high schools in this area like no. <laughs> that was a that was a class option <laughs> no. man we like, lived in this shitty little hippie stoner town and i fucking hated it everybody was a fucking druggie everybody was fucking alky in some way shape or form and then there was my family whereas and... whereas i was in a similar situation only it was a fucking country hick town that's about this big around where everybody knows everybody and knows your business before you know your Oh, business. exactly. Dude, there's literally... My, the population in my town is maybe 900, maybe 500, something like that. Something, yeah. It's about the place I went to school. Like, there was so many rumors about me going around. Like, how the fuckers didn't figure out that I was gay 
before I graduated, I'll never know. They saw it, like, I had people coming up to me asking me if I slept with, like, every girl on the cheerleading squad. And I'm like, really? <laughs> Are you fucking stupid? What? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, for one thing, they're all bitches. For another yeah. thing, yeah, no. But, you know, it There's was a just story a... I can tell about a cheerleading cheerleader incident. But it was one of those things where, like, it was a country town. Right. So I didn't date anybody that I went to school with because, A, I was not about to out myself that I was gay in a religious small town. Right. A not happening. Especially in um, Texas. Yeah. Um, I outed yeah. myself after when I graduated when I knew I'd never have to deal with those fuckers again. Mm. Um, you know. I'm not going to lie. I kind of knew, like, right away. When I was oh, that I... Well, well, yeah, because I don't even try to hide it anymore. Right, no. Like, but the thing is, yeah. you're not, like, you're not really one of those stereotypical gay guys or anything like that or anything. In, in, you're not stereotypical in any fashion in, or any sense, really. I was going to say in any fashion, and then I was going to say in any sense, and then it came out fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually have one of those. That's a story for another day. Um, <laughs> I don't. I just wear what the fuck's comfortable. And it's one of those. Me. What's funny about that whole thing is, is if you had seen me years ago, like mm. before I graduated, mm. I was nothing like I am now. Like, mm. well, it, it was sort of, actually, that's not true. When I'm at home, when I was at home, I was like I am now. Right. But when I was in public, it was like completely fucking different. It was like I was living two fucking lives, like right. I was a fucking spy or some shit. Like, I couldn't really. do that. It was so, it was too much of a fucking hassle to pretend to be one thing and over another. I it was hard at first, but like the longer I did it, the easier it got. It was really fucking weird. Um, until it was just like second nature. But I was glad when I didn't have to do it anymore. Right. Um, but yeah. So back to the original thought. Since I keep getting fucking sidetracked. Um, side sorry, thing. sorry, straight guys and lesbians. I just don't. I don't know all that many of you like I have a friend that's a lesbian I have a friend that's mostly lesbian um mostly lesbian yeah that's a story that she'll tell you you actually know her um I know who it is don't I I know Cerberus dog Cerberus dog who she has a service dog yes I knew it she has a service dog yeah her um <laughs> and she'll tell you that she's that way but anyway, um, so yeah, I, I just, I don't know that many lesbians. I just don't know what makes you guys tick. Um, and I just don't have much in common with most straight guys. Unless you're a gamer or like a nerd, comic, geek of some kind. I've got nothing for you. Even really. then, I'm kind of weirded out hanging around other geeky people, especially males. Because... I could tell you some stories, and I'm oblivious to my surroundings and people around me a lot of the times. <laughs> Don't you thumbs up, you bitch! No, I was pointing at me. Oh, okay. I thought you were my giving a thumbs up. Like, up. okay, I get it. I get it. I thought you were. Uh, I thought you were agreeing. Yeah, she's pretty oblivious. <laughs> but like seriously, uh, if if I'm actively like seeking out something like a book or a game or something like that and a guy starts flirting with me, I don't know that it's flirting. Me I either. just see it as, oh, this person's making a, co a like concerted effort to actually fucking talk to me. That's new. I'm really bad about like flirting in general. Like I can flirt if I'm not actually like trying to like, if it's accidental, I can flirt all day long. Oh, yeah, me too. Or, or, like, if it's somebody that's already in a relationship and it's just, like, messing around, I can flirt all day long. But if I'm actually trying to flirt with you, it sounds like I'm not just a fucking dumbass. Mm. Like, it, it's bad. I it's just, just... It's embarrassing, even to me. That's like a whole another set of videos for the both of us. We could literally just have, like, that could tie into a section or maybe even a playlist of embarrassing stories about ourselves. Also, oh guys, you can start looking forward to a collection of videos, a playlist of videos, all about the shit my mother's pulled. 
Oh yeah, that's definitely something we're gonna do. We're going off um, of Clutch's suggestion, uh, Victor S. Hall. Which, by the way, in case you can't, in case you've no haven't noticed yet, rather, in case you haven't noticed, um, if you look at the bottom, I'm holding very pictures on screen. That's awesome. If you look at the bottom, um, over here, uh, you can see that you can see his Twitter ta a tag, and he is the one who made all our. Our background, the ribbons with our names, and yeah, it's pretty fucking sweet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pain in the dick to set it up, lol. He took the suggestions very well because I asked for the red and the black. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for that, Clutch. Um, yeah, thank you! Clutch is his gamer tag, for the most part. And, but yeah, you know, we're... <laughs> I would say that I'm sorry that we're not, like, putting out a whole lot of content for straight guys and lesbians, but I, I Why don't Why really would we know. be sorry? Because, I mean... I don't really know what to, what to tell you. Like, if you have anything you want to see that's something that we might do, comment. We're not Let us gonna... Know. Honestly, we're not gonna do inappropriate stuff other than what we spew out already occasionally. Yeah, we're already inappropriate enough. To, yeah. Exactly. Um, but but if it's something that you guys like, if you've watched our videos, and you know something that we might like or that we might do a video on, by all means, give us a suggestion. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's for anybody, really. Um. But yeah. I mean. I'm not sure what else to say on this topic. Um, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is, honestly, and that's the thing, you know, not everybody is gonna like our shit, and that's fine, and whatever, I mean, I'm not gonna worry about it, really. honestly, I'm not gonna sit here and stress myself out. No. You know, if you don't like it, sorry about it, not really, though. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So, yeah, sorry, not sorry. Fuck it. Alright, we're gonna close this video out. But yeah, so subscribe, as always. If you um, like us, comment. if you don't, that's your fault, not ours. <laughs> comment, let us know what you think, what you want to see, and thank you for watching. Yeah, so then we will see you all in the next video.